Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the best way to use your 4,600 FIFA points at the beginning of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. It's a very exciting time when you log on to FIFA for the first time with your Ultimate Edition access into the game, three days early access, and your 4,600 FIFA points are waiting and ready to be used. What's the best way to use them? Packs? Foot draft? Is there a combination of two? I'm going to talk through that today. I think there's a clear-cut winner as the best value for time option when you're using FIFA points at the beginning of FIFA 23. So we're going to talk about that today and break it down. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start with the basics. How do you get these 4,600 FIFA points and when will you be getting these? Well, of course, I mentioned it, the Ultimate Edition. That is how you get these, whether you pre-ordered on PC, Xbox, or the PlayStation, you will get 4,600 FIFA points. This is the second year that EA has done this. FIFA 22 was the first year. Before that, they used to give out packs every week, like two packs a week for 10 or 15 weeks. And that was fun and all, but I think EA realized that if they just give people some FIFA points, then people might go out and buy more FIFA points because it's kind of fun to open these up and get free FIFA points right at the beginning of the game. So that's how we get them. Now let's talk about when they'll be released. In years past, and well, last year basically, they were released the first time you log into the Ultimate Edition Access of the game. So this year for FIFA 23, September 27th, at midnight, your local time should be when you get these FIFA points. That's how it was last year. So midnight UK, uh, midnight US, it'll be different around the world, of course, as you get into the FIFA for the first time and open up FIFA 23. But that's when you should be getting your FIFA points. It's also when you can carry forward FIFA points from FIFA 22 to FIFA 23 via that one-time in-game message. Now, let's get into it. What's the best way? When those FIFA points show up for you, What's the best way to spend them? And first, I want to talk about packs in the store because that's the most popular method. And I actually think it's my favorite method to get your FIFA points open. And here's why. Well, first of all, at the beginning of the game, you don't have a lot of packs available, right? Usually 7.5K packs uh, will be there. They had 5K packs in previous years of FIFA at the beginning, but in FIFA 22, they only had the 7.5Ks. We will have to see if that changes, but 7.5K packs at 150 FIFA points per pack is only 30 packs, which it's not only, that's actually a lot of packs. 30 packs, if you think about it, 7.5Ks is really, really good value, and you can open 30 packs in probably what 15 minutes takes you 30 it takes you 30 seconds to open a pack or less right especially with all of the early values in the beginning of the game and we're going to talk about this here in a second opening these 7.5k packs is probably the way to go because watch i just go in here i'm going to open it with coins of course but i'm going to open this pack i'm going to skip through it watch the animation whatever you want to do, you get to the end of it, and then boom, you look and see, okay, this is a pretty average pack, right? I'm not going to make too much from this pack, but let's talk value here for a second. If you're opening 30 of these packs, if I send this to the quick sell, I'm at 2,000 coins of quick sell value, depending on how many players you get and stuff like that. And of course, they might change it up. Of course, the position change chemistry or the position modifiers are changing in FIFA 23. So those are a gold rare card. Those might be worth more. They might be more popular in packs as well. The usual quick sell value of a 7.5k pack is between two to 3,000 coins. So if I just quick sell this pack without selling any of the players, I'm making 2,000 coins right here, right? Well, of course, in the beginning of the game, some of these cards might sell for a little bit extra, and that's where you start to make your money and make your coins because at the beginning of the game, a lot of those cards that are 80, 81, 82 rated that are pretty good are in people's starter teams, and they're going for two, three, four, maybe even 10,000 coins plus on the market, but they're packed a lot at the same time because they are very low rated. So you have a very, very large potential to make a lot of coins by just opening the packs in the store. Seriously, 75 to 100,000 coins without getting a really big pack pull can be what you expect from opening all 4,600 FIFA points on 7.5K packs. I think that's the best method because again, you get that done in a couple minutes, boom, you have your coins right there, right away, you don't have to go and try to play games of foot draft and wait to get your rewards and, and grind to get those packs that you could be getting from foot draft. So that's one of the ways, that, that's basically all the reason I think the 7.5Ks are the best. Now, let me kind of just drill this home here for a second. Some people will say, Nate, why would you open packs when there's no special cards in packs right away in FIFA? Well, 
Here's why, because the longer you wait, the more these card prices just drop. Take a look at 79 rated Alan St. Maximin last year. On the day that the FIFA points were released on Monday, he went from 20,000 coins up to 28K. And then if you would have waited until Friday of ones to watch, on that weekend, he was already down at like 15,000 coins. And you could have you could have packed him on Monday or Tuesday when the FIFA points dropped and sold him at 28 Hey, it is very advantageous and it is very worth your time to open those FIFA points straight away in FIFA 22, either Monday or Tuesday, when, or Tuesday is the day the game drops, right? September 27th. So Tuesday night or Wednesday, get on the game, open up these FIFA points with the packs, and it's a really, really good value way to get coins right away and get that value in your club instantaneously. And of course, have the potential of packing cards like St. Maximin or Lacroix very easily uh, and selling them for a high value. 40K for this guy, 40,000 coins for Lacroix last year, right? You know, even if you pack somebody like the, the FIFA 23 ratings are slowly dropping right now, right? So if you pack somebody like Jeremy Frimpong, this card might be worth five to 10,000 coins right away at the beginning of FIFA, right? Maybe you pack somebody like Nuno Menge with the new chemistry system. I think this card is going to be really valuable. Watch his price at the beginning, 80 rated, very easy to pack. So that's why I think opening your 4,600 FIFA points in packs is the way to go because you get the best value as all of these cards are so much more expensive in that first weekend and the first week of getting on the game than they will be for the rest of the whole year. I mean, look at St. Max. In literally two weeks time, he went from 28K to 3,000 coins. So it's just so, so worth your value to be opening up these FIFA points at the start of the game. And again, as I said, don't save it for ones to watch because you think you're gonna pack a promo card. Most likely, you're not. It's gonna be very hard to pack a promo item out of just the normal 7.5K packs that are in the store when the, the, the game drops. It's gonna be very hard to do that. So open them right away, get those coins, and then when you get those coins, you can go out on the market and make some moves. And we'll talk about that a little bit later in this video because this 4,600 FIFA points impacts the market a lot. Now, I do have to talk about this other option because you could also do foot draft. You could play single player or online draft with your FIFA points and technically, you could get some really good rewards here. Now it's 300 FIFA points, so you can only do what it, what would the math be like 15 drafts instead of 30 packs. Um, but arguably here you could get better packs. You could be getting 25, 35, and 50k packs even from winning a draft. I would only do this if you have a lot of time to play the game once it drops and you are an elite level player. I mean, you really have to be like rank three or above in foot champs. To be playing this online draft in my opinion because everybody that's going to be playing this mode is going to be very skilled and very talented and it's going to be hard to win games so i think that yes you can get better packs from doing draft if you have a lot of time and you don't care about getting the coins right away then this is a very good option for you but i think the best value for your time aspect is opening those packs now there's a little sneaky way to do this as well because I do believe that in single player draft, regardless of whether you play on like beginner, amateur, semi-pro, professional, world class, I think that the rewards don't change in the end. So if you play four games and win on a beginner draft versus playing four games and winning on an ultimate draft, the only thing, as it says here at the bottom, earn more match coins at higher difficulties. You'll earn more match coins per match, but the rewards should be the same for winning four games. So if, again, if you have a lot of time on your hands, you can get some better packs from playing single player or online draft, and it gives you a bit of a feel of using players that you don't own and might be better than your team, and just using new players in the new game in general as we get used to playing a whole new version of FIFA. So that's definitely an option, but I really think that it takes a lot of time and it's more fun to open packs, right? We all can agree on that. So my clear cut winner here is opening the 7.5K packs. Now, of course, at the start of FIFA 23, if they have other packs here in the store or if they have different versions of preview packs, that could be something to look at as well. And when we're in the game, we'll, you know, have to be really, really sneaky and look on the pack probabilities because I do remember last year at the beginning of FIFA 22, like the preview pack 
it showed that like the 84 plus player in a preview pack had like just 0.1% higher chance of being packed, probably just a rounding thing. But I think a lot of people last year even opened the preview packs and then bought those packs instead of just opening the regular 7.5K since there were two of them at the start of the year last year. We'll have to see how it drops in FIFA 23, but I would expect it to look a lot like this. And if there's a different pack that's in there, maybe if the 5K pack is back, we'll have to kind of put that in consideration as well. But I wanna talk about the market in the aspect of this happening too, because of course, 4,600 FIFA points is gonna impact the market. And we already looked at some flipping graphs and talked about it, but it seriously is a huge, huge day on the market when everybody gets these 4,600 FIFA points because two things happen. Well, first of all, a lot of your low tier cards and cards that are getting packed a lot get supplied a ton and they drop on the day that these FIFA points get released and you see a lot of swings in price. Of course, we looked at a 79 rated Allen St. Maximin card, his gold item, that at the time of last year at the beginning of the game was like 20,000 coins and his price dropped off very quickly. That was about a week's time, even in that singular day time period. This Allen St. Maximin, let's zoom in on the graph here. I'm gonna go all the way back to September, 2021 and zoom really far in. You can see the FIFA points were released on this Sunday night, Monday morning, and his price shot up a lot. Very meta card, very valuable card, but he was getting packed here, right? He went down right away in that initial drop in price, and then after people were done kind of opening their packs, he just absolutely flew up in price, and this happened with so many cards on the market. You'll see a low point when the FIFA points are being opened, when most people are opening them, and then they will prices will explode on the rare and the most meta popular players, even if they're low rated, like the same Maximin. He went from 20K to 28,000 coins, but then dropped off really fast right after that because, again, he kept getting packed and kept getting supplied. There's a huge investment opportunity here with players of all different levels. Let's zoom back in time to, again, the first two weeks of FIFA for Erling Holland, he was 100,000 coins, dropped down to 86K, shot back up to 100,000 coins, and then went all the way down to 20K two weeks later. So we're talking about this little market rise that happens right here. I do think that it'll happen this year in FIFA 23 as well. Again, it's preliminary early stages. We're not on the market yet, but we do know that the web app this year could feature FIFA points be able, being able to be purchased on the web app, potentially. It's not confirmed yet. That would impact the market a lot as well. So we're gonna have to, of course, take this case by case and day by day when the game is actually out on the web app. But as of right now, this is what happened last year and we have a lot of reason to believe the market in FIFA 23 is going to be similar to what it was in FIFA 22. But again, that's just, this sort of market movement is something that you see all the time. Again, here's another example. Sterling went from 56K all the way to 75K in two days after those 4,600 FIFA points were released on Monday last year, the 27th. It's the same date as last year. It's just one day difference on the calendar, uh, like Monday versus Tuesday into FIFA 23. So that's where I'm kind of getting that date right there. But one thing you always see, and this happens all the time during the year, is when um, a lot of packs are released, Yes, there's a lot of supply and prices maybe drop for a quick second, but your cards that are more rare and that are very, very popular, they are the ones that rise first. Because if you think about it, a lot of people that are gonna go out and open these packs right away at the start of FIFA 23, like I am, when I get my 4,600 FIFA points, I'm gonna go straight into the store and rip those 7.5K packs and see how many coins I can make. Because coins are king in FIFA. They always are and they always will be. And getting 50 to 75,000 coins that quick, what are you gonna do with those? You're gonna go out and maybe I would go and trade with those and try to turn those 50,000 into 100,000, 300,000, 500,000 coins over the course of a day or two. But a lot of people are gonna go upgrade their team and that's why you saw those prices go up. And that's a trend that we see all year long. So this is gonna be a great investing opportunity on informs, on the higher rated gold cards that are very popular. Again, even this year, Raheem Sterling's Chelsea card looks like a, a really popular gold uh, starter card and people are gonna be upgrading to in their teams in that first week as they continue to get coins. So those higher tier, higher rated, and more expensive cards start to go up as they're in demand. And the lower tier ones start to kind of go down a little bit. Like your starter teams, you know, those teams that you maybe use for like the first couple days or so, um, they'll still have some demand. Like remember Vertonghen's gold card and Pepe, uh, they got really big pace boosts in FIFA 22 as center backs 
you know, those types of lower rated cards will probably have a short bounce in price, but then also they'll be going downwards in price not too long after that. So there's a really big investment opportunity there to see prices rise shortly after the 46 fee. 4,600 FIFA points do drop onto the game. It's a great time to invest, and it's so much fun on the market when that happens because also this year in 23, when those FIFA points are released, that means people will be on the game and playing the game, and there will be gameplay demand, and that is a little bit different than last year. That's why I said the market will not be exactly the same as last year in FIFA 22. It'll just be similar. So again, to break it down and to sum it up, I think the best value for time here is to spend your 4,600 FIFA points opening 30 of the 7.5k packs. I think you'll make 50, 75, even upwards of 100,000 coins is very, very possible. One pack pull worth 20k could be all the difference that you need to have a really good start to your FIFA 23 ultimate team with packs. Drafts are an option, but they're not the most time value for coins in my opinion. So that's my opinion there. Again, let me know down in the comments what you think about this because again, it's a case by case basis, right? Uh, a lot of people that want to grind the game may like the foot draft option, but I think a lot of people will just want to open packs, have fun, get coins as fast as possible, upgrade their team, and then get back into playing the game or investing or doing SBCs or whatever they are doing. So there's 4,600 FIFA points on 7.5k packs is the way to go in my opinion opinion that was the video for today if you did enjoy it smash a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new we're going to talk a lot more in depth about the market and these 4600 fifa points when they drop in the game real time with daily youtube videos about the fifa market and all the content that drops so make sure you subscribe for that it has been nate foot accountant i will catch you guys later peace out